beside you. We have felt the whisper of a word. Give me your map and I will show you where its echo can be found. Hey, how's it going? Uh, welcome back to the channel. So, we've popped up to see the Greybeards again in High Hrothgar. They've given us the location of another word wall. Uh, this one is in Hag's End and it's the slow time shout which is a brilliant shout and to get to uh, Hag's End you have to go through Deepwood uh, Redoubt so you're hitting two locations in one there are swarms of Forsaken around uh, you'll be coming up against Hags, Witches and Hargravens uh, it's a bit of a trek to get here it's at the top of the mountains uh, slightly west of Solitude and northeast of Markarth um, but it's well worth the effort uh, to get this excellent shout. So, without further ado, let's crack on. Okay, as usual with these kind of videos, I'm going balls to the wall. I'm not going to be doing my usual sneak illusion uh, stuff. I'm actually going to bring Genesa in with me. By the way, I really recommend Genesa as a follower. She is fantastic. Uh, one of the best, in, in my opinion. Um, I like her and Gisargo. Anyway, so let's crack on. There's plenty of Forsworn here. And some of these guys are quite tough, actually. I'm not so worried about the uh, the Hags and Hargravens. Um, I've got my magic resistance up really high. Um, and if you're playing as a Breton in particular, that's uh, quite easy to do. And uh, if you're not, have a look at my Book of Love quest um, in my Skyrim walkthroughs. I'm not going to bother looting on this one either. Actually, I've got to the stage now where really there's nothing left for me to buy in um, Skyrim. I've got all the houses. Um, I can now forge and enchant weapons better than you can actually pick up. So, yeah, I probably won't bother. What I'll probably do at the end of this is I might wander back through Genesis and picking up bits and bobs as I go through, but I won't do it for the sake of this video. So anyway, let's pop into Deepwood Redoubt. Pop through here. Now, just left at the top of these stairs, uh, there's a whole load of Forsworn. So, what I'm going to do is get them to kill each other. Um, I'll use my Mayhem spell. And that's Genesis setting off traps. That's one of the reasons I don't normally bring followers. So what we'll do, we'll let them kill each other and then we'll go and mop up afterwards. It's actually quite funny watching those little red dots disappear. Hey, okay, once that's done, sneak around the corner. If you can, kill this person really quickly. Um, it sets her, it stops her from setting off the trap. Because if she goes to the end, she'll set it off again. Okay, round here. Now be careful here. Um, there's lots of enchanted traps on the floor, you can see there. And they can do quite a lot of damage. And Genesis will probably set them off. Yep, yep, she sets them off. So nip in here. <laughs> Kill this person. She's got the key to get in. And sometimes she's got some interesting stuff in her as well. You don't actually need the key. Uh, you can pick lock uh, your way in, but uh, it is a master lock, so some people might struggle with that. And pick up these little notes around. You can pause the video and read that if you want to. There's not a huge amount of loot in this um, barrow anyway. Okay down here oh you can see the benefit of the mayhem spell it does make your life a lot easier someone just at the top here quickly take them out boss job done My usual thing of collecting books. I'm actually going to have to do my library soon, actually. 
I'll put this mod on so all the books I haven't got glow. And don't forget to pick up the uh, the coins. Okay, onwards and upwards. Into Deepwood Vale, and this is where we head down towards Hag's End. Now, there is a swarm of Forsworn here. Um, you can sneak in uh, through a door in the tower. You'll have to uh, lockpick it to get in. If you can cross the uh, river there to the right, down that way, at the bottom of the tower, there's a door. But we're not going to do that. We're going to pop in a couple of stormies. Uh, some of these force are quite tough. Uh, they obviously level up with you um, to a certain point, and yeah, they, they are quite tough. You can see uh, my stormy gets taken out quick time there. I should have popped another one in actually. Oh, stand still, will you? Stand still. Oi, come here. Good night. <laughs> oh, he's still shooting me. Didn't kill him. There are loads of them around. Spend a bit of time uh, clearing out the camp. There's quite a, I want to say quite a bit of loot. There's a, a reasonable amount of loot here. Nothing particularly high end. Uh, though you do pick up some good ingredients. And quite often you find them hiding in the little towers. So this is where you'd uh, sneak in if you wanted to. Just through that door down there. That's the master, so you'd uh, pick lock it. There's a couple of decent potions always down here. Get out of the way. There's a mod you can get which um, gets your followers to stay out of your way. I think I'm, I'll try and find that. Because it can be quite annoying. Uh, yeah, be, be warned. Quite often you'll find them still hiding in their tents. So, yeah, for example. And a skill book. A sneak skill book. Always good to have. And like I say, you can get some good um, ingredients here. It's said that the Forsworn make dark packs with the Hog Ravens, and that is why they can use magic. Oh, I've missed. <laughs> I'm way off today. Another book for the collection. And you can pause that and read it if you want. I can't help but keep losing. Oh. And what's in here? Okay, onwards and upwards. Oh, Brightheart, that's good. And an ebony bow. Okay, no Brightheart there. Mm. 
my no lo looting policy didn't uh, last long, did it? Okay, this is where we're going to start meeting the uh, witches, hags, and hargravens. Um, they don't particularly bother me too much um, as I've got quite high magic resistance being a Breton and I've got all the perks and I did the Book of Love quest as I mentioned earlier on. In fact, go check that out. It's a nice little quest as, as I say, it increases your magic resistance and uh, you also get some benefits uh, in further quests, so uh, worth doing. Anyway, pop in, take care of these people. And there's another hag, I think, or witch in here. Take her out quickly. There's a few bits and bobs in here. Be careful, there are uh, spell traps all around. Um, you can't set them off with arrows or anything. So just there and at the top. Um, a few bits and bobs. It's random loot, so it could be good, could be bad. It's up to you whether you want to take the risk or not. Anyway, come up here. There's a chest here. Again, it's all random if you get a lot of stuff in it or not. There's a trap there. So stand to one side, set it and... Uh... Oh, this time it's absolutely empty. So that wasn't really worth it, was it? Okay, take these three out. And a lovely illusion skill book. Fantastic. There's always someone at the end of this bridge. And just up here there's a big spider. You can ignore this if you like. There's nothing uh, much in here that I can see. Not sure I've missed anything, but uh, anyway, onwards and upwards. That's the way you want to go, but in here there's a chest and it's a master lock. Luckily I have my Guildmaster's gloves. I should actually make myself um, a lockpicking outfit. Come on, come to daddy. Yes, job done. Okay, there's a trap there. Hock to one side, because this will burn you up. Yeah, you're getting the full benefit there. And for very little. Okay, just to get out of the way. Now, careful. Don't go running in. Okay, onwards upwards. Got to take out these three here, a Hargrave and a couple of witches. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Okay, there's a chest in here. Uh, again, pretty rubbish loot. Spell Tomes of Flames. Uh, 
Uh, this door here is a master lock. Um, there's nothing in it, so I suppose it's useful for uh, uh, increasing your uh, lock picking XP. Um, I'll have a little look in here for you, show you kind of the loot you're going to get, so you can decide whether for yourself whether you want to actually bother doing this or not. Anyway, come to daddy, come to daddy. Oh, bosh. There you go. I mean, the loot in this place really varies from uh, time to time. Elfen Battle Axe, I won't bother. Okay, pull this chain. And here we are at the word wall. Uh, there's nothing really around here worth looting at all. So you might as well just go straight to the word wall. And there you have it. The slow time shout. It's the first one I've got. This is an uber fantastic word and uh, really, really, really worth having. Especially if you uh, use archery a lot like me um, and you get yourself into a big melee. Uh, so damn handy. Anyway, now we've got our little um, boss battle coming up. We've got a couple of ice rays, um, a hag and a hog raven to deal with. So get yourself prepared before you go out. I'm going to pop out the boys. Okay, and I'm going to hit them with a slow time shout. Might as well use it, now we got it. Here we go. There you go. I'll leave these guys to deal with the ice race, and I'll deal with her. Like I say, my magic resistance is so high, she can't do much to me. Bosh, she's down. And the lads dealt with the ice rays with no bother at all. See what she's got on her? Hard grain feathers, not much. And there's a boss chest just down to the left. I don't know who those little berries are. I can't pick them up, but they're everywhere. Oh, that's good. That's good. And there's one thing this, in this chest which I always get, and that's it. Steel plate boots of muffling. Fantastic for enchanting. Absolutely wonderful. So, uh, really happy with that. So, that's it. Job's done. Uh, we've cleared out a couple of sites. Hags End, Deepwood Redoubt. Uh, we picked up a couple of skill books. We picked up uh, one of the best um, words in the game, Slow Time. And we picked up some decent loot on the way. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.